This is day 11 on this bus conversion project and today we're doing the flooring. This is the bus life. So the owners of the bus just arrived and Alicia, who is the woman of the house, the woman of the bus, has not seen the bus in the current stage that we have it in. So we're gonna get her reaction and see what she thinks. Okay, so we have pretty much all of the wall paneling done. <laughs> what do you think? Wow, <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, we just have this to do here and there's a couple little pieces here and there. So up to here will be your sofas and then this is where your tile will start. So excuse me, Elisha. So your tile for the kitchen will start here. So the first cabinet actually will begin here. This cabinet is where it's supposed to be. This one will scoot over and then this one needs to go is in here gonna still. Fit? Did you guys figure it out? We hope so. We're working on it. We're, working we'll see. On it. Yeah, we're hoping. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> she wants to have a farmhouse sink in here. And as you can see, there's a lot of obstacles to work with there, but we're going to try our best to do it. And then your fridge goes in here, and then up here, there, that's actually a lot of storage. Yeah. yeah so cool. what do you it's think really of your bathroom? The paneling hasn't been put in yet because we have plumbing still to do, but... It's cozy. It's cozy, <laughs> it <is> yeah. cozy. <laughs> It'll work. <laughs> Under the beds, we cut it out. We'll put flooring that goes there so you can slide baskets or whatever yeah. you want yeah. under there. And if at a later time you want to actually install drawers, they're framed in for that. I oh. <laughs> was supposed to put shiplap here and forgot <laughs> and did paneling. It so looks, I told them the paneling looks so nice here that it, no, don't take it down. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm not worried about it. Yes. My goodness. Oh. So as fast this happens as you so expected. fast. Well, I, honestly, just faster. I just. Okay. <laughs> and then you have all that storage under there. That's awesome. So I gotta say with our bus, it's coming along extremely well, extremely fast. I wouldn't expect any less from the bus life. That's why huge blessing that we're able to connect with the bus life and uh, the bus is just looking amazing. It's, it's, it's fun to see it come together. Literally is like how you watch Fixer Upper and you just like, this is gonna be my home. <laughs> and you, you just don't really picture it. And then when I walked in and saw it for the first time today after several days of them working on it, it was amazing. It just looked like phenomenal. It actually feels like a home now and I just am so excited. They just help us like think of things that we never would have thought of. <laughs> Saved yeah, us from a lot of uh, regrets. <laughs> it's been so much fun working with everyone and just such a blessing and we are just so impressed. <laughs> I really thought you were gonna make better use of that. We are starting on the flooring on this bus conversion project and we're using basically a snap and click. It's a composite laminate. This is a pretty heavy duty stuff. It is waterproof, dent and scratch proof. Goes down quite easily. Let's see what it looks like. We're installing the uh, concrete board for the tile. Oh no, Erebus. Really, we need a full piece. You wanna grab that end, Erebus? Careful. Oh, yeah. so, okay. Next piece. <laughs> All right. Coming through. Yeah, you're gonna make it look like Ashton's doing everything. <laughs> Lucky there. <laughs> So as with most bus conversion projects, you have to do a lot of custom things and this is a perfect example of that. This is actually gonna be going onto the shower wall and we have a water source valve coming out of each side. Thank you. But the problem is there's nowhere to screw the water inlets into the shower wall. It's a very thin wall. And I'm also finding that the thickness of this plywood is actually holding it out too much, which means that the valve won't be able to mount properly once the tile and hardy backer and all that is installed. So. No, they don't really quite fit you, but there you go. 
it doesn't actually have to be that strong because it's gonna be clamping from the front. So once that front piece is on, it's gonna be good. So that kind of gives you an idea. My screws are coming through a little bit, so I'm gonna have to like take something and just shave those off. There you have it. This intruding on your shower space. And this has a pole that comes up, mounts to the wall. It's got a big shower head that comes down on it. So it's actually a decent option if you have very thin walls. What do you think, Corey? You gotta look that way and say it. Sip. <laughs> All right, guys, we pretty much have all the flooring installed and it actually looks pretty darn good. I think the white and the uh, floor tone really go pretty well together. And then we have the bathroom right here. We haven't finished the bathroom yet. It's super small, shouldn't take very much time. I'm now standing in the master bedroom. Right here we have an elevated place where you're going to do flooring all throughout here. Gonna be working on building cabinets on this side and on that side. And there we have Corey who is working on the shower now. Say sup, Corey. No. Okay, so we still have, kind of have the cabinets all strewned through the room. Not very- Defined strewn. Uh, all over the place, scattered. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be doing a farmhouse sink. I believe that's what this cabinet is. It's laying on its side, I don't know why. And there we have my mother putting, working on building cabinets. They'll be two feet deep, they wanna be able to hang suits and dresses and stuff. Stroomed. All right guys, that's it for today. We've been making pretty good progress. We're on day 12, let's see if we can make it to the set goal.